See you then, Mr. DeCopel. And we're looking at temperatures today getting up to about 49 degrees. We have sunshine and blue skies, maybe a few light snow showers early tomorrow that could linger into the morning, but they should not slow you down heading into your Thursday. And then Friday, sunshine to start, clouds to end ahead of our storm system moving through on Saturday. That's going to be a mix of rain, snow. We'll continue to time it out and start to assess those accumulations for you where and when. And then 43 on Sunday, 45 on Monday, and 55 with rain on Tuesday. Starting today, you will have to pay again to ride the light rail. Alexis Davila joins us live with the latest updates from the MTA. Alexis. Yes, good morning. Though some of the service is back. When we spoke to passengers, they expressed that they're still questioning this system because of its reliability. Since it's a little bit off, they say they are not that eager to hurry up and get their bucks out of their pocket to pay. Now, 27 of the 53 light rail vehicles are now in service. The light rail system was put on pause, though, for nearly a month to conduct an emergency inspection and make repairs. The light rail service resumed just two days before Christmas and it was free as a courtesy to passengers for their patients. But starting today, the courtesy will vanish. Now, when it comes to fares for a day pass, it's about $5 and weekly passes cost $22. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. Alexis, thank you. And today, city leaders will discuss the work done to reduce violence here in Baltimore City and honor the victims of that violence as well. Janae Reese has the details. Janae. Yeah, Baltimore City leaders will discuss the work done to drive last year's decrease in homicides and how they'll continue this progress in 2024. There were 262 people murdered in Baltimore in 2023. The number of people killed in the city decreased by more than 20% from 2022. This number marks the first time the number has dropped since 2014. However, some say it will never make up for those who lost someone to violence. Mayor Scott and city leaders will discuss this and more during a public safety conference at 11 a.m. later today. The vigil of remembrance for the city's 2023 homicide victims will be held a couple of hours later at the War Memorial Plaza at 6.30 p.m. Ladies, back to you. Baltimore police are investigating the first murder of 2024. Police say they found a man who'd been shot to death yesterday morning on North Bentlow Street in southwest Baltimore. Anyone who knows anything should call police. Well, thank you for waking up with us on this Wednesday morning. <laughs> I'm Cena Gebra Ab. So you're thinking about it for yes. a second there. And I'm Amy Kuwata.